Hello everyone, um, today I'm going to do a tutorial on text and like the infinite floor or the seamless floor as well so you get that really nice professional look but um, we'll jump into it anyway first off I've just created three materials there, I'll show you dead quick what they are um, just double click the material, I've changed the layout so it does look a bit confusing if you just use the default but um, the colour, if you bother about RGB numbers and that the red 0, the G well, the green is 182 and the blue is 255 and that's just set to 100 on brightness and there's nothing else there reflection I've put it to Fresnel by clicking that and then going Fresnel so without that it'd just be like a, too strong and it makes it like if you're using Photoshop it looks like an overlay effect as such but um, the brightness is 53 and the, mac, the mix strength is 49 so around about 50% it'll be 50% just to Sucked about like you know what I mean. Um, environments I've loaded a HDRI, and if you don't know what that is, I'll save it into the. I'll put a link in the description. It's not mine, so I'm not taking any whatever like rights or all that shit. But um, the bitmaps, you can click there because I've used the previous. So load it, bum bum bum. The brightness is 49. And the mix strength is 49. You can obviously bang it up to 50 just to see the arson about. I apologize, me swear, it's just that's literally don't know what else to say. <laughs> but, um, the specular stone, you can't turn it off, but I like, to, like, you see a lot of people turning it off, but I always like to leave it on reflections, and because you're going for a realistic look, I think it gives just a little bit of edge, just where, like, you get a bit of, like, you get more bounce lights and stuff like that. But um, the width is 37, the height is 66, the fall off is minus 10, and the inner width is 0. I might bump that up. The inner width is now 4. So that's basically one material. I'm just going to use that one. Them two. Oh, I'll delete the red one, don't need that. I'll click on that to highlight it. Do Command C, Command V, or Control, whatever, on Windows. Um, I'm going to double click that material. I'm going to change the color just to just. I'll just choose a different colour. I'll choose a orange. Blue and orange will work nice. And um, just leave it all the settings the same. Done. Now I've created another material, this is gonna be for the seamless floor. And I'll double click that and show you what that is. Basically all this is all them options are all turned off and colour's the only one on. And um, by doing this I've done I've clicked texture and then went down to gradient and then double click the swatch. And then changed it to pure white, and then click that one there. Double click the little tab, and then changed it to like a middle grey. Clicked OK, and then changed the setting on the type to two D circular. And then basically that's it. So click X on that. And if you don't understand why I created the white or whatever, I'll show you now. Um, click the light button there and click floor and then do the same thing and click background I'm trying to make it quick because I've just like redone this tutorial on this one and it just took too long so I'm shorting it down and just getting used to like the process and routine of things but I'm um, going to drag this, that white material onto both of them and because it's obviously default light and it won't really show much but when I click background hold command vice versa for whatever for windows and click floor and then if you click the materials on both of them you got multiple values in the projection so you click U V W mapping I don't know why it's spelled like that but um that's basically it so if you do a render now what's it doing what the hell I've done something wrong oh bloody hell I totally forgot. Right click, <laughs> right click the floor, Cinema 4D tags, and click compositing. Literally don't know all that. Oh my god. And then click compositing background, and now when you do it, dun dun dun, it should be like that. So no matter what angle, well, it does affect it if you go too low, because there's always going to be a horizon. But if it's all the same colour and there's not much difference in gradient, there shouldn't be any difference. But yeah, basically, I'll go down a bit. And the way I'm rotating and everything without clicking up here is one is to move like that. Obviously, clicking down and moving the mouse. And number two is to zoom in and out. 
but I just because I'm using a bamboo, I just click down and drag in and out, and it works quick and blah blah blah. And number three is the rotation, so these do help a lot. Like I think this is one of like the easiest shortcuts I've ever learned on any piece of software. Cause it's just so quick and effective. But um, just gotta bang some text on there quick. MoGraph, MoGraph text. Um, align that in the center. And command. You don't actually command then. But um, change the text to what can I call it? What can I call it? Change it to what can I call it? Cause I don't know what else to call it. Um, and then I'm gonna change the font. Um, font, font, font. So I'll just change it to. I'll just go something towards the top. Um, Alien Encounters, because I think that's the one with like the, 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 yeah, the lines in it. I'm going to change the height, height basically the, the full font size. And then you can do like your can and um, all that stuff. You know what I mean? Um, vertical spacing if you're doing paragraphs, obviously, you like that, yeah. Whatever. But, um,. I literally cannot think of anything. <laughs> I'm gonna change the horizontal spacing a bit, just a bit closer. I'm gonna go for like dead close and like distorted look, just for the time being. And what can I call it? I'll drop the can I call it on a different line so it's better for layout wise. Okay. Um, bring that up, and then for vertical spacing, I'll drop that up, and then. A line left will be middle. And I'll change the view by clicking that and then drag it down to there. So it's just touching the floor. Now if I do a quick render on that, default settings, click number three to just give it a nice angle so you can see like the, the light bouncing up and blah blah blah. It's that. It's basically nothing. So if I bang a quick I bang the, the blue on it, it's drag and drop. Do it now and get some reflections and stuff like that. So you're getting getting somewhere, but here's a tip what I see in another tutorial because literally it was it's so confusing. Cinema 4D when you first jump on it is click display just on the the window display and then click enhanced open GL and if you watch all the text it basically makes everything a lot more realistic. Like there'll be some watch so you're getting more of that here. A realistic look, so if I do a quick render now, see straight away, like it's a big difference. So if I take 